there's hope for everyone. Negative reads will work. Trust me. I think it works for some some people. <laughs> Hello, Rolling Dutch. <sighs> Let's see. It works. Let's go. When Hunter Hunter Otter's unspoken race backfired. On a cold day in Tokyo, November 19th, this is a really good video. A woman abruptly calls off a wedding with the famed Hunter Hunter mangaka Yoshihiro Togashi. This shocks Togashi, and he literally begged this woman to take him back. Eventually, after laying down some ground rules, the couple. Wait! I, I missed that first part. He broke up with her, right? That's how, what he said, right? With the famed Hunter Hunter mangaka Yoshihiro Togashi. This shocks Togashi. What? Oh, fuck. I, I, I should listen from the start, sorry. Whole day in Tokyo, November 1998, a woman abruptly calls off a wedding with the famed Hunter Calls Hunter off Monica, a wedding? Yoshihiro oh, calls off a wedding. She calls off the wedding. shocks Togashi, and he literally begged this woman to take him back. Eventually, after laying down some ground rules, the couple decided to finally get married on January 6, 1999. Hello, so calling asking, who the hell is this mystery woman that made a workaholic manga take marriage seriously? Well... It's no other than Naoko Takeuchi, a multi-millionaire superstar manga that literally carried the Takeuchi character's China. female anime fan base through Sailor Moon. To some, she was a complete diva with a princess complex. Many. Dude, I remember that line. I remember that line when I watched this. Complete diva with a complex, princess complex. And then she married Togashi? Dude, the negative race is too strong. God damn. When you reach bottoms out so hard, it doesn't know where to go but up, right? When when you when you reach is empty, when it when it goes to the negative, it goes to the very top of the positive. It's like a circle, you see, it, it goes around. If it's negative, it goes to the positive and ow, well, stop throwing shit at me. It, it goes to the positive and then you you get the princess. Yes? Trust me, I know. Because the video said so. She was an icon <laughs> for redefining female characters in the manga and anime space. This is the story behind the creator of the legendary series that generated $13 billion in merch sales. $13 billion baby, from merch? Let them know what time it is. What? It cannot be denied that Takeuchi got the it factor Holy when it shit. came to manga creation. This was thanks to her obsession with manga from an early age. She was so obsessed that she used to buy and read so much manga Integer that she underflow. described herself yeah, yeah. as an unstoppable monster. Not she read all the erase. available shoujo magazine in middle school and high school. But this wasn't oh enough, my God. so she proceeded to read all the male-orientated shonen manga as well. However, oh, she's a this still wasn't enough. So to she wants more. Takeuchi resorted to going to doujinshi events. Eventually, this led to this young girl starting to make her own manga. Takeuchi later recalls that she was drawing these stories to escape my studies for university entrance exams. From there, she started to submit her one-shots to a magazine called Nakayoshi, a best-selling shoujo manga magazine. At the ripe age of 19, while being a second-year university student, second she made year a university manga student. debut with the work Love Call, which eventually went on to winning the Nakayoshi's New Artist Award. I guess it's kind of common for them to debut the first manga at a very young age. Because I remember um, Oda also made One Piece while he was really young. I think he was 17 when he made it. When he started drawing it. While they were in university, I guess. Oh my god, that's amazing. Imagine, imagine creating manga at such a young age and eventually it's gonna influence a lot of people future generations of artists, weaves, and other media. Damn, that's amazing. Holy moly! After winning this prestigious award, Sensei spends the next several years creating short manga series for Nakayoshi. Then one day, Takeuchi was like, you know what? I want to make a story about outer space and girl fighters. Outer Her editor at that fighters. time, Fumio Osano, one-upped this idea by suggesting, how about we put these girl fighters in school sailor suits? This young ambitious manga school ran with the suits? idea, and this led to the creation of Codename Sailor V. 
Months later, in December 1991, Sailor this story concept evolved into Sailor Moon. Well, this and honestly, well, this the rest was history. <laughs> Now, I am convinced Takeuchi was straight up a saint in her past life because uh -huh. literally everything lined up perfectly. She's very Nakayoshi lucky. Level. Firstly, Nakayoshi, the magazine where Sailor Moon was serialized in, had a complete strategy shift in the 1990s. I mean, luck is when opportunity meets, meets preparedness. That's what they say. Some people say luck is not real. Luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. Sometimes, there's an opportunity, but people are not able to take advantage of it because they're not ready for it. Maybe she was ready for it. She was ready! I don't know, man. <laughs> Kinoko Nasu started writing Fate Stay Night in high school, as, as, as I recall. Ooh, damn. The editor-in-chief during that time, Yoshio Irie, wanted to move this best-selling magazine away from first love stories and wanted to introduce more fantasy series like Sailor Moon. Additionally, Irei pushed for a media mix marketing campaign, media which involved mix. close coordination between the magazine, anime productions based on the manga, and merchandise sales. Clamp, anime classic Bohemian clamp. Toy Animation picked up Sailor Moon, and they were able to negotiate Dude, with Powerhouse clamp is an Bandai icon as well. to yeah, handle man. Sailor Moon merch. Of course, the anime was a Sorry, huge amplification Sakura for the Sailor that? Moon manga, mm. but I think it was the merch that was the deal sealer. I mean, just although Clamp is a group of girls, right? It's not just one person. If I remember co correctly, there's uh, someone who writes the story and someone who draws them. I actually don't know how many there are in the Clamp group. All I know is it's not one person. That's why kids card game player once said luck is also a skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta level up your luck. Right? It's a skill. Two Trust years me. in. The Sailor Moon IP generated over 25 billion yen or 160 million USD dollars. I found this old January USD dollars. magazine <laughs> issue showcasing the different Sailor Moon merch and it is insane. Chibi figures, moon stick, computer oh, note, stick. shampoo, stationary set, cassettes. Bandai didn't just get a cash cow, they got a whole goddamn cash cow farm. As much Ooh, as having the proper farm. infrastructure in place is crucial. Let's not overlook the fact that also, Naoko Taki I have to say that she's very fashionable, dude. She's very fashionable. Uchi was the driving force behind all of this. She made many of the growing progressive woman class at that time feel represented. The ethos of the Sailor Moon story oh, look at was our... a projection of Takeuchi's independent mindset. Queen, my at queen. the time, because I was personally very independent, I suppose it is natural that my characters also shared my traits. And I think that the grand scale of the story I created also reflected my own personal liberation. But these ideals clashed personal with the liberation. status quo That's during very Japan in the 1990s. In a legendary 2013 Rolla Magazine interview, Takeuchi she wants to be free. The endless battles she had she with old free. men that got in the way of the Sailor Moon vision. Simply put, <laughs> Sensei shared that the old men and Nakayoshi it's always the didn't old men. understand her vision from the get-go. I mean, how do you? How would you understand as an old man the desires of a young woman? Young woman versus old man. That's not gonna work out. You know. Because the old man, I gotta be traditional as fuck. And she's like, no, I want free stuff. Not free stuff. I want progressive stuff, not free stuff. <laughs> Probably. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's just funny to think about that she has, uh, like, uh, misunderstandings with the old man getting in her way all the time. Mm. She told the staff that Sailor Moon was going to be a squadron she's of a diva. Five yes. Girls. In response, they said, hold up. In a fighting squadron, there's always one comically obese character and another nerdy one with glasses. How are you going no, to No, everyone is, is pretty. This Everyone's was pretty. Play Takeuchi was getting at every turn. I mean, this bunning of heads is what led to Usagi's hair being blonde. Originally, Takeuchi was going to make Sailor Moon's hair silver, and the old man editor said Hello, that the magazine is never going to sell if she used a dull color. Frustrated, Takeuchi is like, I'll make it blonde. Sailor make Moon Usagi more was supposed to be that, white haired and sneered. <laughs> At least it's not grandma style like last time. Oh, I'm sure no. another place Takeuchi drove these men in power crazy was her love life. 
to an interview question. Oh my god, here we go. What she would do if she became a man for one day. Her only response was have sex. And she did not elaborate. <laughs> Gotta love her. Dude, look at that. Look at this beautiful postcard artwork right here. See you, space cowboy. <laughs> The moonlight is safer. That's silver. That's true. That's true. But they don't want the grandma main character, so there's that. Rip Shinzo Abe. <laughs> she also describes her car as her boyfriend. Her car is her boyfriend. That's really progressive. See, see, this is why she's always fighting with old people. Because she thinks her car is her boyfriend. Mm. Mm. What what a nice photo. <laughs> yes, the famous Porsche model pics that you see all over your Twitter timelines. Takeuchi fondly refers to her car as Torbokun and amidst the most favorite oh, place in the so world is being inside Torbokun. In the 1993 interview, being the inside billionaire shares right. that her favorite hobby is taking Torbokun out to the highway for late night drives. Torbukun. But looking beyond these seemingly fun tidbits, what wasn't fun for her editors was her outspoken openness about love. While many Japanese women yeah, in the 1990s she's were quite reserved about their love lives, Hakeuchi shared that she loves playing around with men. In the words of the famous manga herself, I love the dark silent types. Dark I silent just love types. pushing these mm. dark guys with all sort of complexes to their limits. Oh Once my god, them, she's crazy. I'll tell them not to get down on themselves and cheer up. <laughs> she wants dark uh, mysterious guys and then push them to the limits and then cheer them up after bruh this lady is crazy she crazy dude <laughs> hello jen <laughs> oh my god i love her what in the sadism is going on here but this priority of love converged at a point when she met a man who will later become her soulmates. In August Soul 1997, Miss yeah. Takeuchi got invited to a weekly Shonen Jump party. As luck would have it, she was seated right next to Yoshihiro Togashi, the 31-year-old mangaka superstar that wrapped up a huge best-selling manga called Yu Yu Hakusho. This mm -hmm, ambitious mm -hmm. mangaka was less than one year away from dropping a Thanks series for the named Hunter x Hunter. Takeuchi was actually a big fan of Togashi, particularly oh. his science fiction manga called Level E. At this party, Togashi what gave Takeuchi fuck? his card. I didn't even pay attention to that one last time I watched this. Level. Level E. That art is nice. You know the thing about Hunter Hunter's art? This guy's art is sometimes it's like a banger. It's fine art, and then sometimes it's, I don't know, it's just doodles. But this man knows how to, how to draw. It just breaks my heart to think about Hunter x Hunter. Because I like reading Hunter x Hunter, but damn. You know? <laughs> don't expect a lot of updates. I mean, it's really good. I love it. Just that <laughs> it's not like any other manga that updates regularly. This one, no, no, no. They tell you, you wait. They actually don't tell you wait to wait. They just expect you to be there when the chapter drops. And you know, it's like, you, you, I, I don't know what I'm saying. What am I trying to say here? What I'm trying to say here is I love Hunter x Hunter. I wish there's a, the update is more consistent, but it's not gonna happen. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. Level E. At this party, Togashi gave Takeuchi his card with his name and number on it. Ooh, Takeuchi yeah. felt convinced that Togashi was hitting on her, so after the party, she gave him a ring. And for some Ooh. reason, during the same call, our man admitted that he knew nothing about Sailor Moon. Wow. Dude, the negative race. He knew nothing about Sailor Moon. She called him. What is with this man that she likes? She likes the balding hair, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> oh, many would think this would backfire. Takeuchi kept wanting to talk to this man. 
I take a hint from no, I'm joking, I'm joking. preference in men. Number one, her type was her character tuxedo mask. Tuxedo someone mask. that is cold and pathetic. Number two, <laughs> cold she and doesn't pathetic. care about looks. Takeuchi <laughs> never went after a guy romantically based on their physical looks. It's not about the looks. What? I, don't groan. I'm just saying on paper, these descriptions match Togashi perfectly. So anyway, these two lovebirds were seriously in love. Takeuchi oh, once shared nice, that uh, she was the type of person who prioritizes love over work when I find someone I like. So with her having some extra time on her hands after wrapping up Sailor Moon, instead of going directly into her next series, she decided to help out Togashi on his new manga. Oh my god, she even Hunter helps Hunter. him with the At manga. At first, she tried to play the role of manager by running his office, cleaning after Togashi, etc. Oh my god, However, this, was this nowhere, man is so lucky. So Takeuchi tried to help out with Hunter Hunter manga coloring. But again, she quickly found herself just sitting around doing nothing. In my personal opinion, I think there was work that needed to be done, but I'm sure Togashi held back because he wouldn't want his new girlfriend to be chained ah, to a desk drawing manga gosh. for 12 hours a day. Today he doesn't want her to be chained to a desk. Of course, that's how it is. So. Return to Society Punch, where she dives into what she's been up to after the Sailor Moon manga finished. We find out essentially these two were writing love letters to each other throughout the whole day. Oh, it's even so cute! To drawing sexy self portraits of herself in different dresses and poses. They read the love letters to each other? Ah, oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh, Magnus, hello. Yes, your favorite manga's beginning was powered by Sailor Moon creator in pin up drawings. This short manga drawing, series yeah. really took me for a crazy spin because at one point, Takeuchi even shared she was showering with Togashi oh, no, and she not this asked one. him to show his foreskin. Ah! Ah! I bring this... <laughs> Dude, this video is really good, but... It, that part is... Mm. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Bro... Uh, she's a wild one. That's all. She's a wild one. Ah, I hate it. Every time I, I, I've seen this video before, as I said. But, oh God, I, I hate that there's that small thing in the video and it, it's, it's in my memory now. And also it's in your memory now. Mm. Takayuchi wants to see uh, his, uh, you know, the cover of his banana. Let's just say. <laughs> Curse all joke because I'm just picturing the old man and Nakayoshi continually losing their hair as they find out Takayuchi openly talk about her boyfriend's foreskin. I stop talking about the foreskin. Readers. In terms Aww. of how Togashi proposed, there's two variations to how this unfolded. One account is that Togashi just didn't like watching Takeuchi stuck at his office, conflicted about her next steps to her career. Mm -hmm. So Togashi proposed to her, telling her that she could take things easy. On the flip side of the coin, here is the more K-drama version of the Ooh, story. Oh, K-drama, I love it. Let's go. Takeuchi invited Togashi to dinner to celebrate her birthday, but Togashi stood her up. In what? Response, Dude, Takeuchi Togashi story. went off to get piss drunk and called Togashi to yell at him. During the call, she demanded to know what he thought about their current relationship. Togashi said he was thinking about marriage. So 10 months after they met on that random day in June of 1998, Takeuchi phoned her editor, Fumio Osano. She was mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. hey, I'm quitting my manga career. Osano brushed the story off because he heard this story before, but she ends that statement with, I'm getting married. Ooh. Honey, the fuck? After this proposal, getting married. things took another K-drama turn. Months were piling up, Togashi was getting busier with Hunter x Hunter, and marriage talks weren't getting anywhere. And if things could get even more difficult, the general public actually thought these two were married at this point. There was actually fan mail being sent to Togashi congratulating him on his new marriage. Oh, they so don't with know. With all this pressure, Takeuchi goes D-Day mode and demanded some answers from Togashi. Was he serious about getting married? What was his view? Oh my god, the negative anyways? race is too strong. To that first question, Togashi quickly responds with, Yeah, let's get married. But to the second question, homie really fumbled the bag. This is verbatim, and I can't make this shit up. Togashi says, We'll keep each other's last names, live separately, 
and both work. Bro. Oh, and we both butt in in each other's jobs. Bro, he's so weird. He wants to get married, but he doesn't want to live together. And doesn't want to meddle in each other's jobs. And also keep their separate last names. It's so strange. It's just he, he just wants to get married on paper just so he could say that yeah 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 I, I married you stop talking I don't know probably probably that's what he's thinking who knows man that was strange no kids and this is also no verbatim little marriage, and no I little don't marriage want a ceremony and no ceremony cheating is also fuck? okay that's so weird. for either one of us cheating was also good she? are you <laughs> the negative race on this man dude holy holy crikey he wants none of that marriage, what marriage actually does. Yeah. He just wants to be married because he promised that they're gonna get married. But also, he doesn't really want to get married. Because he doesn't want anything that comes with it. <laughs> oh my god. So not married. Nah, nah, nah. Just married, quote unquote. Hello, Jimbo. Togashi is just lazy. Yeah. You out of your goddamn mind. He's beyond minds. lazy, dude. Oh shit. Hakuchi sped off in her Turbo Kun. Oh, Turbo Kun. Tur this is why Turbo Kun is the she boyfriend, okay? She decided to call off the wedding. Turbo Kun understands her. Formal steps to relaunch her manga career, and most importantly, find a new boyfriend. This woke woke Togashi up and brought him back to his senses. He spent the next days begging Takeuchi to take him back. He didn't realize that what he I said guess. was bad. How how could anybody think that saying that out loud to someone who expects marriage from you and you promise marriage from them and you like them to respond normally? That's so strange. What did he expect? Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> I love this drama. <laughs> the K-drama version of uh, what's happening with mangakas. Oh, spicy. It's Takeuchi's universal card and... Togashi's begging works because the couples ended up tying the knot on January 1999. On January 6, this 1999, is the man that birthed 9.30 a.m. Yeah, JST, the two married at the Four Seasons Hotel in Must Genko, have been offended by then. Tokyo. 24 <laughs> years later, these two are still happily married and have Aww, two kids. That's so cute. I gravitated towards Takeuchi because she is such a polarizing they got kids figure. Eventually, on one nice. hand, she's every woman's lady crush, a young millionaire who penned the most famous shoujo manga decked out in the latest Chanel zooming past you in her turbo kun. On the other hand, people thought of her as being hot-tempered, arrogant, entitled, and having a complete princess complex. However, it cannot be denied that she made her mark in the manga world, and I don't think this is ever going to be publicly expanded on, but when Togashi was dealing with hell problems in 2022 and couldn't even wipe his ass, Takeuchi uh. was <laughs> right there by his side. Couldn't that, even wipe his that ass. That is all you gotta know. Just like Usagi is to her friends. Dude. How could he fumble such a lady? Someone who's there for you in your lowest point when you couldn't wipe your ass. And then you say, like, I actually don't want to get mad. What the fuck is that? Who's doing this bullshit, bro? Girl is simply a ride or die bad motherfucker. Rare spawn, dude. Togashi is so fucking weird. Launch her manga career and most importantly, find a new boyfriend. Oh my god. How? What did she see in him? He can't even wipe his butt. I guess it's not all every day that he cannot wipe his butt, but you know. Oh yeah, I, I, because she said she likes pathetic men. All right, I I, I forgot. <laughs> My God, dude! Oh, the negative breeze it pays off. Mm -hmm. Lucky guy, he's too lucky, dude. If if Takeuchi is lucky, Togashi is even luckier. Let's just say. Hmm, god dang. His negative brain cells in the moment also had a nuclear Gandhi moment where he realized exactly what he did. <laughs> negative reason is exactly what she wants. <sighs> I 
I wonder if she was thinking like I could fix him. Do you think uh, she thought that? Probably not, right? Probably she just she just likes the generate man. I don't know. <laughs> She likes the generate man and looking at their foreskin for some reason. I don't know. I mean, that part about them exchanging love letters every day, though, that's kind of cute. What the fuck? What? It was part of the video. Takeuchi shared with his with her fans. She shared this with her fans, okay? She said that she asked Togashi to see his foreskin in the shower. Why? I don't know. <laughs> god what a video uh sometimes i wish i didn't watch this video but also it's it's very cute it gives you hope see even though you don't have reason there's hope there's hope next topic moving on indeed moving on this is the ending song. <laughs> ending song. This is the ending song. <laughs>